All right, so here's another one. Let's determine the moment produced by the two forces about point O. Moment about a point, moment about point O is R cross F, R cross F. F. Now, that last problem, we combine those two Fs into one F, but we can't do that right here. These are not acting at the same point. They don't have the same moment arm. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do these separately, and then at the end, I'll, I'll find the total moment about point O. All right, so um, let's look at this F1, and it's R cross F. So uh, what would the, so the F, Actually, let's, I like to break it up into bite-sized pieces, right? The R, what is the R? The R goes from the point to the force. From the point to the force. So this would just be 5 in the y direction, 5J. All right? And then the force is a negative 60I plus 40J plus 20K. All right, and then when I've got both of those, then I'm ready to do my 3 by 3 determinant, my cross product. So this moment caused by this one is going to be I, J, K, uh, 0, 5, 0. So if you, <clears throat> the, more, the simpler it is, the easier it is to make mistakes. I like to just, just still do my 3 by 3 uh, determinant. And so it's okay if you got some zeros, but just make sure you plug in those zeros, right? The R is 5J, so that's 0, 5, 0. This is negative 60, 40, 20. So how does this work out? Let's look at the eyes. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this. My eye component would be 5 times 20 minus 0 times 40. My uh, negative J component is going to be 0 times 20 minus 0. Uh, 0 minus 0. All right. So it is kind of simplifying a bit. And then my K component plus my K component is going to be, let's see, that minus that, 0 minus, let's be careful here, 5 times negative 60. So my total moment <clears throat> is going to be 100 in the I plus 300 in the K. That's my moment just caused by this force right there. That's my moment just caused by that force right there. So I'm going to uh, maybe kind of put a star by that and come back to that. that that's the moment about O caused by the first force. How about the second force? How about the second force? So the second um, R cross F uh, moment equals R cross F. R is from the point to the force. So what is my R for this one? From the point to the force. So from O all the way down here to B. All right, so that's going to be how far does it go in the X, how far does it go in the Y, how far does it go in the Z. Z. Uh, so it comes 4 in the X, 5 in the Y, and then down 2. So you see that it's 4, 5, down 2. Don't divide it by its magnitude. The equation calls for an R, and that is my R. Uh, <clears throat> and, of course, the force, I'll just rewrite it, 80 I 40 J minus 30 K. So now I got that, got that. Now I'm ready to do my cross product. So the moment about O. Let me go back to black. The moment about O. I, J, K, 4, 5, negative 2, 80, 40, negative 30. So my I, I'll kind of kind of start going a little faster. 5 times negative 30 minus, sorry, minus negative 2, right? Be careful, times 40. All right, maybe I shouldn't go so fast. The J component would be that minus that. It would be that minus that. Uh, <clears throat> 4 times negative 30 minus negative 2 times 80. See how easy it would be to m mess up or miss one of those negatives. <clears throat> and then my K component would be 4 times 40 minus 5 times 80. I'll be real careful with the math, and I would get negative 70 is the I component, negative 40 is the J component, negative 240 is the K component. So that's the moment <clears throat> caused by that one. And we can just add up both of those moments to get the total moment. So this one right here with this one right here, get the total moment caused by those, moment about O 
is 30 in the I minus 40 in the J plus 60 in the K units, pound feet. I need units on all my answers. The units for a moment, just leave the units as whatever units the force had and whatever units the, the moment arm R have. Um, and I don't mind if you do pound feet or feet pound, uh, but I do need units on there. All right.